we're officially 18 weeks out from the Mr. Olympia competition, which will be held in Las Vegas. So if you guys are going to Olympia, you guys are in for something special. I believe this lineup this year is definitely one of the most competitive lineups ever in terms of competition for physique. So just a lot of like, you know, a lot of the top guys from, you know, the past four or five years that will be there, but then there's a lot of new up and coming guys. So for me, that's extremely motivating because I love to compete against like newer people or just competition in general. So I feel like that's going to give me more motivation in terms of like getting ready for the competition. So I've been on prep now for, I mean, I never really got off prep. I pretty much just been dieting and just focusing on just getting a little bit healthier, adding a bit more body fat on just because it's not that healthy to walk around like stage lean all the time. So after the last show I did in Colorado, you know, I had a lot of time to spend with family and friends, but now being 18 weeks out, I'm gonna lock it back in and I'm gonna really treat this like a full-time job like I have in the past. This is just gonna be just another competition. You know, obviously it's the Olympia and I have to bring in my A game, but every competition I do, I still have the same mentality. My goal is to win, so I'm gonna do my best this whole entire um, prep and we'll see where it goes. As far as training goes, I'm doing more of like a push-pull legs kind of split and I try and nail everything twice a week and training really heavy, my strength never really went down at all. So you see, will see me later in the gym, plan on doing a push day. Right now I'm making some breakfast, got my cup of coffee, and pretty much just gonna get a meal in and then rest up, do some check-ins with clients, take care of these pugs, and then you know we'll be in the gym. Probably like an hour, two hours. what do you think, two hours? Yeah, we got it. Heading to the gym, I currently have two meals in my system right now so I feel really solid right now I'm trying to grow more so I try to fuel my training with you know a good amount of food whereas when I'm on competition prep sometimes I'll train after having one meal there's times where I've trained fasted before you know just experiment around with it I mean you can burn a lot of body fat training fasted but I don't think it's ideal because you have no glycogen at all so you're gonna be really really flat but right now, like I said, I try to have two or three meals before even, you know, going to the gym. And um, my pumps have been very full. I also do two scoops of like carb powder. So I'm literally feeding my workouts. And um, I think that's the most important thing to do, especially when you're trying to grow. You should have carbs before, during, or after. So the food intake around your training is gonna be the most important when you're trying to grow or just in general, performance wise, I think that's where nutrition is key. So you don't want to eat like pop tarts, donuts, or anything that's going to give you a crash. And again, everyone's going to be different. So you're going to have to play around with different food sources to see what works best for you. But for me, I typically just do something really light. Like I'll do cream or ice with like a whey protein isolate. And I tend to digest that really well. And that's just from me doing it for years on years on end and it works. Whereas somebody else, might not like having carbs before training. They might have a lot of carbs their first meal, and then their second meal, they go a little bit lighter on carbs, but maybe more moderate fat and moderate protein, and they might respond better to that. So everyone's gonna be different. There's no perfect way or right way of doing it. But heading to the gym right now, I'm gonna do a push workout. My plan is to train really heavy. Goal is to have reps between six to 10 reps. I'm gonna try and nail at least two to three top working sets per exercise. And as far as exercises, I'm probably gonna do like three pushes. So probably two for chest and one for shoulder. Maybe add an extra one for shoulder and then maybe a little bit of isolations. But on today's push day, I'm gonna focus a lot more on the presses and um, try to really build density. So we'll be in the gym in the next two minutes and we'll get after the workout.
three reps. You got ten. Ten? Yeah. How many reps? How many? Eight. Eight? In general, how's the chest going? Huh? In general, how's the chest feeling? It's re really full. Pumps are really full, but it makes it even harder to contract just because like the fullness. Mm -hmm. Like, look at my range of motion. Feels good though. Usually, I mean that's after two presses. I'm about to do two place in a quarter. See how this feels. If I if I can get five easy, then I'll do three and I'll aim for five and five six again. Awesome. Yeah, Matt's wet. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go a little heavier. Workouts are not as like high intensity, but I try to take longer rest periods. But I just feel like when I train with a lot of food, it just like slows me down a little bit. But I feel good. I still feel pretty strong. My pumps are really, really full. Maybe I'll give you guys a physique update after this workout. What do you think? Yeah, I think we should do it. I feel like you got bigger. I feel fuller for sure. Like my pumps are a lot fuller, so my goal is to pretty much try to grow into my pump. But if I keep my diet clean up until Olympia, I should be able to, you know, if I add cardio and everything, lean out while maintaining the fullness. I feel good. How many reps? You got 10. Huh? 10. Is it 10?
Nine. It's nine. a nine or ten. Nine. 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 That was a good set. Towards the end of my workout, I like to just do drop sets, super sets, just to really fatigue my muscle, just so I don't have to go too heavy. Cause I feel like this late into a workout, trying to go that heavy, it's kind of counterintuitive. It'd just be more of just me trying to move the weight, move the weight. But damn, that was a good ass workout. How long was it? Fifty-three minutes. Fifty-three. Yeah, heart rate still at 110. Got the elbow sleeves on still. Damn, I almost hit somebody. Shit. Oh, shit. There's a Damn, car. Steve. Damn, yo, this pre workout yo. is crazy. <laughs> what pre is it, Steve? Uh, I can't tell you. <laughs> You're going to pay for it, right? Yeah. But nah, it was a good workout. Very fortunate to live literally five minutes away from the gym. I live five minutes away from the beach, too. Mm -hmm. Super convenient. Um, being here in South Florida, Fort Lauderdale area. You still haven't taken me to the beach, bro. You know where, you know where I asked, dude. On oh, my bed. Damn, can't even show you guys. I was gonna show them the map, so I gotta update my phone. This is uh, Steve's map. It's all fucked up. Cause I have the update. I mean, but it's raining out right now. The gym we were at, this powerhouse in Fort Lauderdale. I remember we trained there when I first moved out to South Florida when they first opened actually, like maybe like four or five years ago. Mm -hmm. Now it's just very established, so there's a lot more people. I remember when I first started training there, there was like literally like no one ever there. But about to head back now, debating if I should do cardio. I feel like I should, maybe 20 minutes, just because this workout specifically, I realized I was running out of breath a lot easier so i think i need to bring up my cardio health because like i said i did pull back on cardio pretty much completely because i want to rebuild my cardio back up to a point where i could use cardio as a tool and i don't want to be doing you know 30 40 minutes of cardio 18 weeks out because then i have nothing to really work off of so right now I'll probably do like 20 minutes three times a week but probably gonna hit a cardio session use the sauna Help my body just you know recover a lot of inflammation built up from the workout i could feel like how full i am when we get back to my apartment gym i'll, I'll probably give you guys a quick little physique update so you can get an idea on how i look but pretty much finished my carb powder drink probably like 20 minutes into the workout i actually have like a little bit left so i'm gonna chug it right now but yeah you ready to go train yeah how do you feel 
um, the pre stuff be kicking in for me. Is it? Yeah, I can feel it. What do you feel? I feel my heart going faster. Hyping. Hyping. My bad. Hyping, bro. But yeah, I'm actually gonna have to pack up too because I'm actually flying home to Jersey tomorrow. Tomorrow morning, visit the family and friends. I haven't been in Jersey since December of last year, so it's gonna be almost eight months since I've been in Jersey, and uh, it's gonna be cool to see. That's when we family. first met. Damn. Damn. Yeah, I remember. Time flies. But we did get a lot of content mm -hmm. done in the meantime, so really excited to see my mom, a lot of my friends, my boy Darren. He's actually gonna be in town. He was out in uh, Japan for the military, but he's gonna be home. So that's honestly the main reason why I'm flying back home. Not the main reason, but one of the, why I prioritize this trip, because my boy Darren, I haven't seen him in like, I think two years. And then I want to see my mom again before I start prep up again, seriously for Olympia, because I don't really plan on traveling during this prep. I want to just be very focused, locked in, just be like a robot doing the same thing every single day, waking up at the same time, eating a meal at the same exact time, doing cardio at the same time. But that's how I operate best. And it works for me. I'm just debating if I should get back into jujitsu because that's something I really, really miss. And it's kind of hard because I have to get bigger. And when you're grappling, like you're expending so much energy that like you're almost putting yourself in a deficit even if you're trying to eat in a surplus because it's just so high demand it's like doing like high intensity cardio for like for example if you do hit cardio ideally people would do it for like 15 20 20 minutes all out but when you're rolling it could be like a, i mean if you go to a class typically it's about an hour by first 30 minutes it's more of like low intensity you're drilling doing warm ups but then like the last 20 30 minutes you're going full all out if you're if you're rolling so I miss it just because it's super fun and you know you're learning another skill set and I feel like I love to thrive off of learning something new is like super challenging to me and yeah I haven't trained since like February. do that jersey hmm do that jersey should I what do you guys think you guys think I should get back on the mats I might actually because my boy Al Bruce he actually runs the one jujitsu um Academy at Attila's, right? Harbor yeah. Harbor Jiu Jitsu. Dope guy. So maybe we'll check that out. Well, yep, we're home already. See how quick that was? Steve was speeding. Huh? You were speeding. Was I? Yeah. Shit, my bad. It's all good. Yo, that dude want to scrap, yo? What? <laughs> weeks out from the Mr. Olympia. I'm show you guys a quick little physique update. My weight is currently fluctuating around 198 to 202. So this is where I'm at. Oh, My chest pump was pretty solid today. Feels fucking full still. But I'm probably gonna do 20 minutes on elliptical, wrap up cardio, and then hit the sauna for about 20 minutes. Help my body reduce some inflammation. And yeah, really excited to get this prep series started for you guys. I'm gonna be packing up a little later just because I have the trip for Jersey tomorrow, and then I'm gonna be creating some content in Jersey. I might do some collaborations. We'll see. But yeah, I'm gonna finish up with cardio. Get some food. I definitely need a deep tissue too because my neck has mm -hmm. been feeling super stiff. So maybe I'll do a deep tissue later tonight. I'm gonna see how I feel. Yeah, you should get it done here. I feel like so. Jersey, you're not gonna like it. <sighs> not a bad starting spot. I think in the next 18 weeks, I should get bigger and then leaner. So it's gonna be exciting. 
Your abs, chest looks huge right now. Abs are still kind of there, but a little washy. Mm -hmm. But it's, I'm in a good spot. This is probably the best shape I've been this far out from the competition. <sighs> nah, it's too small. All right, <laughs> let's get this cardio in. Steamer, mm -hmm. I was probably there for like good 18 minutes. Like body temperature is so high. So like even me just sitting here, I have to re-regulate. But what I like to do is I jump in a cold shower. So I was just like Which one is like really cold. It's so cold though that like you're so hot that you don't even realize how cold it actually is. And yeah, take your take your recovery serious. Goes a long way. Is this the trenches? Huh? Is this the trenches? Partial. Partial. This is partial. Oh, damn. Should I go back in the sauna? It's kind of counterintuitive at that point, but feel pretty good. You still got a pack. I know, and I need to get some food in. Post workout meal coming soon. We'll be having like uh, chicken donuts and, rice. and shit. Or chicken and rice. Donuts? Chicken and rice, that's it? Damn, it's fucking hot. My body's still regulating. Even though I was in the cold for a good bit, I feel like. My body's still like acclimating to like normal temperatures. Cause I still feel my heart rate still running. But there's so much research behind like saunas, steam rooms, very beneficial. Um, very fortunate I have something like this at my apartment complex. So I try to utilize it as much as I can, especially during competi competition prep. I'm doing it like almost every day, but for the past month I've been doing it probably like two, three times out of the reach just cause I'm lazy. So gonna get back into it it's honestly a suffer when you're in there because you're almost fighting time your body's already at a point where it's like breaking in the sense of like it's so hot but mentally i feel like you build mental durability just being in there and if you can remain composed you can use that composure within your workouts so when you're in like a difficult set and you're like very very tired or whatever you can control your breathing in those positions then you can really be efficient. That's something I've learned. Mm. Would you say it's similar to like high altitude training? Um, uh, to be honest, I've never done high altitude training, so I don't know what that's like. So I can't really comment on it, but I would say, I mean, high altitude training, you're just gonna be training under higher altitude, so it's harder to breathe. But this is more of like just conditioning yourself to remain composed in a very uncomfortable position. So you're sitting in there, your heart rate shooting up, you wanna breathe really fast, but you can remain really calm and control your breathing. Then you can translate that to many other things. Like something I've learned, breathing techniques, breathing training. I feel like a lot of people aren't breathing the right way when they're training. Mm -hmm. Cause if you see me do some sets, I'll do like, a super set, but then at the end of the set, I'm not like gassed out for air. Like I still have some in the tank, but right. I'm, I'm trying to withhold a lot of oxygen mm -hmm. for the reps. But just going off on a tangent now. I'm just gonna <laughs> chill for a bit and then head back to the apartment. Just got some new collars for the bugs. We're off to Jersey soon, so I'm gonna start packing, getting my stuff ready. I tend to overpack just because I like to have options. See this fits your small head. Damn. Gonna make it a little tighter. Um, how do I? Um, how do I? You have a dog or no? No, I have a cat. Damn. Yeah, it goes meow. 
Ooh, you fresh! Damn! Till Jersey. Till Jersey.